I'm David Kewen, uh, head softball coach at Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College. Spent the last 13 years at the University of Central Arkansas. Uh, prior to that, spent 10 years at Delta State as the head softball coach. Prior to that, uh, about a year and a half at Washington School, coaching softball and baseball. Uh, then a year prior to that, uh, baseball assistant at Delta State. And then prior to that, a couple years at Grimmel Christian. And four years in the Air Force before that. So that's kind of how I'm here. Uh, a lot of reasons. Um, the tradition, uh, they win, uh, the great facilities, uh, some relationships with a couple people here that I'm familiar with, uh, the location. Uh, just I've always loved being close to the Mississippi Gulf Coast and um, you know a place where that, that wants to win and it's set on winning and they got great tradition. So I mean it, it was a no-brainer for me. I've got a great staff. I've got uh, Bradley Grinstead. Uh, Brad comes from Mississippi Delta Community College. Spent the last four years as a head coach there. Uh, a lot of experience, uh, you know, in the state. I'm familiar with the region, the recruiting aspect. Awesome to have a former head coach on staff who's who's been in the chair and can can take a lot off my plate. Whether it's the field maintenance or recruiting or paperwork. He's great working with hitters and, and just building relationships and, and whatnot. And of course, you know, uh, bringing Caitlin Lee back back home to the Gulf Coast. She loves this school. This is her place. This is her alma mater. Uh, she does an outstanding job with the pitchers and also helps us some with the short game with the hitters and, and whatnot. So just got a passion for this school and this community and this program. Uh, and, and, you know, brings a, you know, a, 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 lot, of, a lot of energy to the program and, and, it, and, it, and it's a great pitching coach, really good at working with the pitching staff. We re returned quite a few players with a, a lot of championship experience, having gone to the World Series last year. Uh, right now, you know, if you ask me right now, it looks like we'll be uh, starting primarily so all sophomores uh, on the team uh, right now. That, and granted, that could change, but you know, we, we've got got some tremendous players coming back and ones with a lot of experience. So, I mean, we've got a good nucleus of 13 sophomores uh, coming back and uh, that that's huge, uh, that championship experience. So we've got uh, Emily Coates is returning. Emily's a, a really good pitcher and had an outstanding fall for us and uh, was all conference, all region last year for us. Uh, we've got Abby Vance. Abby was hurt a little bit last year, um, but um, she has thrown the ball really well this, this fall. and. Uh, Abby and uh, Emily both are, are going to help us a lot on the mound, and they, and they both swing the bat well. And um, both, I mean, Abby's got a chance she could play some first and third. DP Emily could hit. Uh, DP play first. Uh, both super talented young ladies um, on the mound. Uh, and then, you know, we got a transfer uh, in and Joby Jones, who I, I think is going to give us a good shot in the arm with some depth. She uh, throws the ball really well and can can pitch and, and play outfield. Uh, we got some freshmen that are going to help us. Uh, Kennedy Brown's done really well um, this fall. Uh, Left-handed pitcher out of North Mississippi. Um, Madison Cobbs is also another left-handed pitcher out of Lafayette County up, up North Mississippi. He's done well this fall. And then we got Lizzie Weems. Uh, Lizzie is, is a pitcher and a, a first baseman. So uh, got, a, got a lot of pitchers that can help us in a lot of different spots. Infield's pretty solid. I, I feel like a uh, Real strong. We returned Bree Green uh, at second base. Bree, Bree played there a lot last season. Um, got Whitley Tanner, uh, who's seen a lot of time for us at shortstop. Third base, we've got Kristen Jones, um, who returns at third base uh, and can also play the outfield. Uh, we've got a transfer in Cat Knight. Transfer uh, player in here can play first, third, DH, fourth. Got a big bat. Um, bring some experience to us. Uh, KK Agner, uh, KK's been out most of the fall, injured, but a, a great player as well. Um, we've got, you know, uh, some really good depth on the infield too as well with, with Haley Sidaway um, at second base and then Laurel Ladner uh, at shortstop. So well, infield's pretty pretty deep. Catching, got got four, four young ladies back there that all have gotten time this fall and, and can help us. Uh, we got Lane Turan is returning. Uh, Lane has caught a lot for us this fall, done a great job. She can play catcher and outfield. She's got a, a good bat, could also play some first. Uh, Darcy Novak is a sophomore who <clears throat> has played really well for us this fall. She can catch and throw and has got some pop. And then got two freshmen uh, who've done a good job for us as well, uh, Chloe Litchfield and Olivia Plummer. So uh, it, you can never have enough catchers. Outfield, uh, got, got, a, got a bunch of 
three returners in the outfield. Uh, as far as returning players, we've got Alyssa Little. Um, and we've got Grace, uh, all good. And then we have Oslin Andrews uh, returning in the outfield. Uh, Little is more of a, a power hitter where Grace and Oz are, are slappers, bunt type skill position. All very solid on defense, can um, really can run down the ball and, and have done an excellent job. And then and we've got some young kids out there, uh, Kate Brannon, uh, Sarah Brannon's younger sister uh, in the outfield who's a slapper, can bunt and run. Um, we have uh, Katie Smith out there as well. Uh, Katie's really fast, got a great arm. And um, Akira Kazi, Akira Kazi, another outfielder can can bunt and run, slap. So uh, got a got a good kind of. It's kind of like hockey. You got a, a really good front line and a, and, a, and another line change there. But that's kind of what we've done this fall. So everybody knows Jones is is a perennial power year in year out. Uh, you know, Chris has a great program and, and great tradition, great culture. Uh, they're always you know. Uh, a team to beat in this league and in and, and this region and and, nation, and nationally uh, and now you've got Itawamba has won a couple state titles in a row and uh, Andy Kirk has done a tremendous job there uh, building that program. Um, Colin has been really strong the last couple of years. Coach Brown and her staff have, have done a great job building that program. Um, uh, Pearl River, Coach Meeks has, has got an outstanding team. Man, it, it's, it's, the league is so tough top to bottom. Uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, Northwest is solid every year. Uh, you know, it, it's just tough. It, East, Central, you name it. It, it doesn't matter. It's, you know, uh, there was a time when it was just the, the big three, you know, kind of, you know, something like whether it was Jones and, and Gulf Coast. You always knew Jones and Gulf Coast were in it. And then every year, you know, it might be Northwest, it might be Northeast, it might be Hines, it might be Holmes. You know, somebody always be in there. But now, at top to bottom, anybody can beat anybody. And we, we've seen that in the last couple of years. There's a lot of parity with, the, with it being all, the state being open.